Hi, I'm Corey, VK2FCOR, in the shack here with Richard, VK2FJC. Uh, we, we had a problem just after Christmas. Our old rotor control box, which is a Kempro KR800S controlling the ASU G800 uh, rotor, died. And our six element log periodic Yagi is directional, so we needed something to control it. Uh, so this video is to tell you a little bit about uh, how we overcame this problem. Okay, so this is uh, Richard, Corey's dad, VK2FJC, and that's the old uh, controlling unit. Uh, we looked at possibly getting a genuine uh, Yesu replacement. Yesu bought Kenpro out many years ago, and uh, Yesu uh, control box would have uh, certainly done the trick. They're quite expensive, and a repair appeared to be quite expensive. We're also considering just buying a whole new uh, motor and a, a controller, maybe getting a G800 or a G1000. Anyway, we stumbled across a product on the internet, and I'll just go up to this monitor here. Uh, we can see that. And uh, it's a company called MDS, and the main guy there is uh, Glenn Kilo, 4 Kilo Victor. And uh, he uh, uh, designs and manufactures uh, digital rotor control boxes. And uh, as it might be with our luck, they've got a model called the uh, um, RC1, MDS RC1 uh, Y, which is compatible with uh, our motor, which is uh, equivalent to the G800 or the G1000, the DC motors and you can check their website out. They've got other models. They've got uh, as well the uh, RC1G for the uh, G450s or G650s which are AC motors. They've got stuff there for high gain and and uh, other manufacturers so check that out. Anyway so we'll zoom over to the, uh, the unit itself. Um, so we'll locate it. There it is and we'll zoom so there she be, that's the uh, MDS RC1 as you can see there um, and it's a digital control unit and you can see the current bearing is 315 degrees uh, now bottom left you've got a uh, counterclockwise uh, button on the right you've got a clockwise button and you can see Corey adjusting those uh, to the right there's a go to button so you can do a preset with that you can rotate that to a bearing it uh, looks like we're going to rotate that to, uh, let's have a look there, three, yeah that'll do fine there Corey, so what is it, 330 degrees, so push the go to button and uh, away she goes. Now uh, there's also various uh, parameters that you can adjust with this unit and you can get into the menu by pushing that rotary control box just uh, button and depressing it. and. Um, We'll just have a quick look at the menu. Okay, so there's the uh, menu there at the moment. Uh, I don't know how clearly you can see that. We've got some reflections. But anyway, you can calibrate it, adjust the offset, uh, whether you've got overlap, north, south stop, uh, etc. Okay, so we'll uh, finish with that. And then we'll go over here now. That's been working exceptionally well for us. Uh, but with the recent purchase of Ham Radio Deluxe, and one of the programs within that is uh, Ham Radio Deluxe Rotator. Uh, I'll just come over to this other uh, LCD panel here and uh, we'll just zoom out of that uh, and just have a quick look. So we've interfaced the uh, MDS RC1 to our laptop with a USB cable and set it up with uh, HRD Rotator and so that's it. So the current bearing as you can see on the panel there is 329 degrees. We'll come back down to the MDS-1 over there and you can see bingo everything's identical. So we'll come back over to this. Also that the line indicates where the beam's pointing as well. Yep so that's the direction of the Yagi and of course it's got the curvature of the earth and everything there. So we might just go over to uh, 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 say uh, 60 degrees or something like that. Now he's America. going, uh, yeah, it's over there to the state, somewhere like that. And we'll double click on there. 55. Yep. And there you can see 
the bearing and you can see the uh, Yagi, log periodic Yagi in our case is rotating, you can see the path as it changes and uh, in a few seconds you'll notice that there we are, simple as that, we've now got the Yagi heading at around about 55 degrees. Now you can also tie this up with Ham Radio Deluxe and a cluster uh, so that you can actually click on a call sign in the cluster and it will turn your antenna and at the same time will adjust the uh, frequency uh, on your radio as well so that's uh, that takes a lot of fun out of it though I think but that's uh, that's the way things are going those days another thing we can do is we'll just give you a quick demo if we come up into that corner there and have a bit of a look uh, you can actually type the call sign in so we'll put a good buddy of ours in there uh, Pat in New York we'll put his call sign in and that's Kilo Charlie 2 Whiskey Lima Radio so Corey's entering that in and there we are and the country comes up United States and we're just going to click it's only actually going five degrees because our bearings are already so close but anyway yeah so there you go we'll do another one we'll put uh, another bloke we talked to in Japan a bit JA2FDX Japan and uh, just have a look at that so there it is and we'll just see we'll refresh that and you can see there we go the Yagi now coming back from the US heading straight towards Ben JA to FDX so that's the uh, replacement control of the MDS-1 uh, which is working great and also interface with HRD rotator so this is Richard VK2FJC and we've got my little buddy there Corey VK2FCR FCOR 73's and over and out <laughs>